Good morning, everyone. Receipt data, level three data, SKU data, item level data. We've heard these terms for a very, very long time, but none of us have access to item level receipt data at scale. Taking pictures of paper receipts is not sustainable. Scraping email receipts is not ethical or scalable. And that's where Banyan comes in. We get item level receipt data directly from retailers and merchants to you. No more taking pictures of paper receipts, no more one-off integrations. This is at scale, cleaned and normalized receipt level data. My name is Jehan, I'm the founder and CEO of Banyan, and this is Will, he's our CTO. So let's get right in a, into a demo. So if you're a financial institution or a fintech, you get transaction level data today. And the transaction level data you get probably is from a network or an aggregator of some sort. And the data probably looks something like, something like this. Will? Yeah, so here's a sample transaction. Uh, you've got some merchant information, like a name, maybe a zip code. Uh, you've got the total amount. You've got a date. Maybe you've got an off code. Maybe even the pan. But what you don't have is any item level data. Uh, so today, to work with our API, you'd send us this anonymized transaction, and we will respond with the items inside of the basket. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll run this command to submit this transaction to our API. And looks like it's succeeded. Awesome. Uh, in the background, our platform is out finding a matching receipt. So let's go ahead and see if we found one. I'll go ahead and fetch the receipt contents for that transaction. And boom. All right, good. Thank you. That would have been awkward if it didn't find anything. <laughs> this is, I, I want to highlight two things while we're here. First off, if you noticed in the API call coming to us and data coming back, there is no PII. There's no identifiable data, and there are no card numbers, so we're not using the PAN to do matches. The second, and I think a really important point I want to highlight is, let's take a second to observe the granularity of the data. That is one item within the transaction that you see today. And within the item, you can not only see the name of the item in clear text, but you can see things like the UPC codes, uh, the SKU numbers the price, the discount amount, the subtotal, the quantity. And as you can imagine, I'm sure a lot of your wheels are turning because the use cases that can be built off of this data are incredibly diverse and uh, robust. The other part I want to highlight is we're, we're not a card linked offer company. We're not an analytics company. We're not a fraud company. We're not, we don't create models. We are an infrastructure company. So what we do when we take our job really seriously is our role in this equation is getting you item level receipt data at scale. We hope you build incredible products off of our tech and we can guide you to a certain capacity, but we really take our role to be an infrastructure company. But I did mention the word scale a couple times, right? If, if this, this is pretty cool, I'm sure a lot of you would agree, but if this worked only for one transaction, how useful is it for, for most of you? Um, scale is another part we take really seriously. So first off, we have tens of thousands of merchants live today. They're shipping data to us. Secondly, we're processing hundreds of billions of dollars in payment processing volume. So we, we do see a significant amount of data. But let's try something live on this demo. So you saw Will show one transaction and one receipt coming back. Let's try a million transactions and hopefully we'll see how many transactions we get back or receipts we get back. All right, so here on my desktop, I've got a file that's got like roughly a million transactions that we want to enrich with the receipt items. Um, so we're gonna start by uploading it to our Google, Google Cloud storage bucket. Uh, we're a huge fan of the performance characteristics of the Google Cloud platform and they've been a great partner for us and more importantly, our retail clients. Um, so, this transaction file is about 250 megabytes in size, so while we wait on it to process, I'm gonna put on some music to set the mood. Awesome. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and kick that off. So while we wait on this to, to sort of do its thing, what's happening in the background 
is um, we start by receiving the transaction data, and then our platform cleanses and normalizes it so that we can match each transaction uh, one by one against the library of receipts that we have on hand. Uh, so this is a little bit like matching a needle in one haystack to a needle in a completely different haystack. Um, sometimes we get all of the transaction and receipt level data that we need, and every single uh, data element is populated. Sometimes we don't, though, and it's in those cases that we have to do uh, some interesting machine learning and triangulation to uh, intelligently find uh, one transaction match against many potential receipt counterpoints. All right, so it looks like this process finished in about 15 or so seconds. Uh, so let me cut the music. <laughs> Jayhan? Yes. So as you can see through the numbers over there, we did ingest over a million transactions. We were able to find 975 plus thousand receipts. If you scroll to the right, Will, you can see the granularity is, is really, really robust. Um, if we do the math on this, this is over 8 billion transactions a day we could process. And in the right, I mean, the internet is really good in a conference room right now that we could pull that off. But in the right environment, we could process over a trillion uh, transactions per day. Um, perfect. So with that, uh, you know, really excited to bring SKU data to all of you. If you're a financial institution or a fintech that's not already working with us, get a hold of us and we'll get you skewed up. Oh, dude. <laughs> I had to. Thank you. <laughs>